I get it. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers, to feel like your worth is defined by those digits on the screen. But let's take a step back, shall we? It's well known that a part of iRacers are there just for the SR. They start from the pit lane and try to just bring the car to the finish line. This completely beats the purpose of a sim compared with real life when you can get hurt if you force a move which isn't gonna stick. So it's your opportunity to try to increase your special awareness and fight for a good finish or push to your limits and pick some off tracks. In the grand scheme of things, you're exchanging a portion of your SR for a valuable experience, which you'll gradually regain through the same experience gained. It's inevitable to be part of some collisions and there will be instances where you're at fault. These incidents are an integral part of the learning curve and are the steps to get better and better, so it's vital to maintain a composed perspective, learning from those mistakes and recognizing the long-term potential of developing a new skill. Now, if you were to choose between safety rating and I rating, it's better to prioritize I rating up to a point. This will allow you to enter higher splits, which, in general, are better in terms of racing. However, the I rating pitfall is that you'll see drivers practice days for a track and even refuse to race if they think they're not quick enough. It gets to a point that the risk of potentially losing a number on the screen is so scary that they'll rather do laps alone or wait for a better track. Losing hard-earned I rating is also painful and adds more to the problem. Like safety rating, you will tank I rating for experience at any level. Racing against quicker drivers will always be a challenge and sometimes being the underdog provides a lot of room for growth. Avoiding racing to protect a virtual number on your screen slowly kills the fun and excitement but also the chance to learn to get better. That's because at some point your race pace will be very similar to others in the pack. Mistakes won't happen so often, so the only way to finish ahead is to have something else besides pace. That's racecraft. Being able to set up an overtake or to defend for many laps isn't something which is learned in a practice session by yourself. That's why you shouldn't care about IR and SR and instead about the skills developed by racing people more and more. Inevitably, those numbers will go up not because you protected them, but because you truly earned them. Racing should be more than just numbers. While raising up in the ranks is definitely rewarding, if your long-term goal is getting better and having fun, focusing just on numbers is not the best way to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.